Hi everyone, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. I'm going to demonstrate how to make a round placemat. Now I've chosen fall fabric with pumpkins and cornucopias all over it. So let's get started. To make the round placemat, you can draw your own circle template if you like, or what I've done is I have this inexpensive round placemat that you can get at a dollar store. They're going to cost you 99 cents or a dollar and they all carry them. So cut out a square of cotton batting and two pieces of fabric that are larger than your template that you are using. So place your cotton batting down first. Then take your two fabrics, bring them front sides together and place them on top. Place your template in the center and trace around the template. Then take pins and place them all around the edges to hold the fabric together while you cut. You can either use scissors to cut it out or a rotary cutter. Make sure your edges are still pinned all the way around. Then indicate an area that you're going to leave open and this is used later to turn it front side out. So what you'll do is you'll start on this side of the opening and do back stitches here. Your seam allowance will be one quarter inch wide so go in from this raw edge in one quarter inch and then go all the way around the placemat and then here is my last pin. When I get to this, I'm going to backstitch. On my machine, I have a line on here that says one quarter inch. So I know that when I'm stitching, I just keep the edge of my placemat on that quarter inch line. If you do not have a quarter inch line marked on your machine, Take a ruler or some type of measuring gauge and place the quarter inch right under where the needle is and then look to see where the quarter inch lands. And it lands right here on the uh, feet that pull the fabric in and out. So you can always put a piece of tape along here and keep your edge right on the piece of tape. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up and do back stitches and just keep it and slowly turn. Now I have a hard time removing pins because of a right hand issue so if I stitch over the pins sometimes it's just that's the way it is but remove the pins so you don't take a chance of breaking your needle and still continue all the way around. Then when you get on the other side of your opening, make sure you do back stitches again. After you have finished stitching, you want to go around the entire edge of the placemat and do little clips. Now make sure you don't cut into your stitch line. So you want to go all the way around and they're about a half inch apart. At the opening, here's my opening, you want to do a very short little clip because you have no stitch line to prevent you from cutting too far in. So what I like to do, just so that the fabric will lay a little better, I will do just do a really tiny little clip all along this edge. Reach in between your two fabrics for the outside and begin pulling it front side out. Reach inside and push against the edge of the placemat to smooth out all of the edges. Smooth out all of the edges and I like to pin my edges flat. At the opening make sure you turn them inside one quarter inch and pin. Then at your sewing machine, do a stitch about an eighth of an inch away all the way around the entire edge. 
After stitching around the edge, then go to your ironing board and press the edges really flat because it'll make this next step a lot easier. When you're using this, you want the layers of fabric to stay together, especially when they're being washed. So I highly recommend you do some quilting stitches. And before you do that, place pins all over the placemat. So just scatter them all over. I'm going to give you a few suggested patterns to do on your placemat. You could do straight lines of stitching. So you could go across the placemat and stitch straight lines, then turn the placemat and stitch some more lines going across. Or if you have a computerized sewing machine, you probably have a stitch that looks like this. This is a wavy line. So you could use this serpentine stitch and do the same pattern. Just stitch across this way, then turn and stitch across going the other way. On this particular machine I'm at right now, this is my Viking Sapphire sewing machine. And I like this one because it's got a lot of different serpentine stitches on it. So here they are, one, two, three, four of them. And I'm going to select this one here. And then the stitch shows up and it tells me what foot I need to put on. Now it says to use my B foot, but I'm going to use a walking foot because it's easier when you have multiple layers like this in which cotton batting is included. Here is the walking foot and it's something that you can purchase for your machine. You can go on Amazon.com or go to a sewing machine supply website or your local sewing machine dealer and they can probably get them for you. And this is a multiple feed foot. So when you've got thick layers, it helps to pull the fabric through evenly so you don't get pin tucks in your fabric. I'm just going to start at the top edge and I'm going to start in the middle, the very center, and go from one end to the other. And you'll notice that the needle is just going from side to side, creating this wavy line. When I get to the end, you can either use a back stitch. I have a little stitch on my machine that just stitches in one place and it repeats that stitch over and over again so it locks the stitch. Now I'm just going to go over, oh, three, maybe three inches and do another line. Then I'm going to go over again about three inches and do one more. So here's where I first started and I stitched right down the center. Then I went over about three inches, stitched another line and went over one more time and stitched a row. Then I turned it so here's that middle one that I did. Now I went over this way three inches and stitched, and this way and stitched. Now I want to go across this way. So turn it and repeat the same pattern. Start in the middle, move out to the side, turn it and move out in the other direction. For other fall placemats and Christmas placemats, Play this video until a green screen appears and then click on the links. If you like this video, would you please click on thumbs up 
and don't forget to click on that share button to share it with your friends and if you haven't subscribed yet go to that button in the lower right hand corner of your screen don't forget to enter your email address and click on the little bell so you receive email notifications to your phone I'm Cheryl this is Manny see you next time and happy sewing